Hi, this is Dan Brenton with the Intel Corporation. I'll be going over some high-level concepts you need to know before you deploy Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. The first concept is that Intel Endpoint Management Assistant is multi-tenant. A single install of Intel Emma can contain multiple independent tenants, each with their own unique collection of computers being managed. This is great for system integrators or ISVs that want to be able to run Intel Endpoint Management Assistant and offer remote hardware and software management for multiple separate customers. Next, I'd like to talk about the different places you can install Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. Intel Emma can be installed in the cloud using a cloud service provider, on-prem for internal usage, or with a hybrid model. Cloud-based installs are great for organizations that have a mobile or home-based workforce. All you need is access to create a Windows-based VM on your cloud service provider of choice, and you can get started. If you choose, you can also install Intel Emma on-prem. This is designed to support anyone who does not want or need to manage devices outside of a corporate network environment. For those who are looking to combine both options, you could host Intel Emma internally and expose it through a DMZ for managing devices outside of your corporate network. Intel Emma can be installed to support either a distributed model, where you can set up multiple servers for scalability and redundancy, or in a standalone mode, meant for small installs or testing. We don't offer a way to convert from a standalone server to a distributed install, so we recommend installing in distributed mode, even if you only need a single server right now. We will have more details about this in another video in this series. Let's talk about the capability that we have with Intel Active Management Technology and Intel Standard Manageability that makes hardware level management through the cloud possible. This is accomplished with Client Initiated Remote Access, called CIRA for short. When configured in this mode, your devices with Intel AMT or ISM will initiate a TLS encrypted network connection to the Intel Emma server. Since this connection is client initiated, it can more easily pass through proxy servers and firewalls. Another key point for devices that you manage in CIRA mode is that local network management ports are disabled. This decreases the attack surface for Intel AMT and ISM when used in zero trust network architectures. If you plan on using Intel Emma with Intel AMT or ISM in a cloud-based install, there's a few things to take into consideration. You need to have what I call a known network. In this case, known networks have two common attributes that define them. First, the network must have access to the internet so that your Intel Emma server can communicate with the device you want to manage. If your network utilizes proxy servers, you will need to configure Intel AMT or ISM to communicate with them. Second, the network has to be one that Intel AMT or ISM can authenticate with. For Wi-Fi networks, we support 802.1x and pre-shared keys. For wired networks, we also support 802.1x authentication. Building on this concept of Intel Emma and Intel AMT and ISM in the cloud, I want to talk about some network scenarios, some that are difficult to support, and some where Intel AMT and ISM work well. If you have devices in traditional office space where there's no need to accept terms and conditions to connect to Wi-Fi, you're all set. There are a couple of approaches you can take for Wi-Fi management to manage devices for staff who primarily work from home. You can configure Intel AMT or ISM with the network settings for your user's home network ahead of time, or rely on automated profile synchronization between the OS and Intel AMT or ISM. IoT devices, digital signage, or other embedded compute solutions can use on-site internet connections if available. When these devices are deployed somewhere in the field, you can use Ethernet or Wi-Fi to cellular or satellite backhaul to connect them. Now let's talk about difficult to support scenarios. Let's start with Wi-Fi networks that use captive portals to manage access. If you have ever been to a coffee shop, a restaurant, or an airport where they provide Wi-Fi, they often require you to open a web browser to accept terms and conditions or pay for access. Intel Emma, Intel AMT, and ISM can work in these locations, provided there are no network restrictions that would prevent Intel Emma and the client devices from communicating. However, I do want to point out that if you're unable to open a browser and accept terms and conditions, 
Intel AMT or ISM will not be able to connect to Intel EMMA. For instance, let's say you've been on a plane working on a presentation and you've run into a problem that's preventing Windows from working properly. You think to yourself, there's Wi-Fi at the airport. I can use that to get help. The problem is that if you can't use your laptop to connect to the airport Wi-Fi, there's not going to be a chance to have Windows synchronize the Wi-Fi settings to Intel AMT or ISM. In these cases, we recommend pre-configuring Intel AMT or ISM to be used with a mobile hotspot. Finally, with laptops, there is one other thing I want to point out. Intel AMT and ISM do not run on laptops when they are not plugged in and powered off or in hibernation. This is for a couple of reasons. First, we don't want to drain the laptop's battery when it's not in use. Second, we don't know if the system is in a bag or another location with restricted airflow. We don't want to overheat the device by powering it on in one of these locations. Next, I'd like to talk about the provisioning modes that we have for our hardware level manageability. Intel Endpoint Management Assistant supports two communication modes with Intel AMT and ISM. CIRA mode, which we talked about earlier, and TLS mode. TLS mode provisioning is designed primarily for on-prem usage models. Intel EMMA has its own built-in certificate authority and will issue TLS certificates automatically when configuring hardware manageability in this mode. TLS mode also leaves local network management ports open on devices, allowing for easy interoperation with other management tools that can work directly with Intel AMT or ISM. The one catch to this method for Intel EMMA has to do with routing management commands. Intel EMMA must route management commands through another device running the Intel EMMA agent on the same IP subnet. So, you need at least two devices, with one of them up and running the Intel EMMA agent for this to work. We've already talked about CIRA provisioning, so I don't have any more details to share. In summary, CIRA creates a VPN-like tunnel from Intel AMT or ISM directly to your Intel EMMA server. Any management commands need to go through your Intel EMMA instance to reach devices, either by accessing its web interface or through the provided APIs. Mm -hmm.